Starting today, your next trip to the grocery store could look a little different. Major chains, including Kroger, Sam's Club, and Walmart, will require employees to wear face masks. Some Kroger locations will implement temperature checks for workers. Some areas even suggesting limits on when you can shop. In Maryland, the Calvert County Health Department proposes shoppers limit their trips to a certain day based on where their last name falls in the alphabet, a possible solution for chronic overcrowding. In parts of the country, some shelves are already looking bare. Experts worry about panic buying, likening it to the rush on toilet paper. I think in the meat and poultry section and even in the food products section of the grocery store, they will have limits on them. Now, with a number of meat processing plants going dark as COVID-19 spreads among employees, there is new concern about the food supply. In Sioux Falls, South Dakota, this shuttered Smithfield Foods plant is linked to more than 800 COVID-19 cases, making it one of the nation's biggest coronavirus hotspots. The CDC is expected to release a report in the coming days on when and how the plant can safely reopen. We'll need to get that plant up and online as soon as possible. In Camilla, Georgia, this Tyson Foods poultry plant closed for two days of cleaning after four employees died from COVID-19. Among them, 55-year-old Annie Grant. Her son, Willie Martin, just buried his mother over the weekend. She said, baby, um, they're telling us if we don't come, we don't get paid or we risk getting fired. And and she had to go, you know. Tyson Foods tells NBC News it has relaxed its attendance policy and installed dividers between workers. With nearly a dozen plants across the country closing their doors or slowing productivity, the National Grocers Association warns some products may be temporarily out of stock until the supply chain catches up, urging shoppers to only buy what they need for a week to two week period. Experts are not calling it a shortage, but... It could be that you won't find your first choice, um, but there will be something there that allows for you to feed your family. Well, let's go back to those meat plants for just a second. With so many of those workers testing positive, are people worried that the meat, the meat itself could be unsafe? No, there's no concern about that, Hoda. All of the experts that I've spoken to say that there's no concern about the meat itself, that it's safe to eat. And the USDA says that it's not aware of any evidence suggesting that COVID-19 can be transmitted either by the meat or its packaging.